Country Blues. was my version of drop down mama we're an open g tuning however that performance you just saw i was dropped down a whole step so i was an f but now back up to open g and let's get into tune and underway here is my six string d my fifth string g second string d third string g second string b First string, D. Now, you don't need to play this on an electric guitar. It's not necessary. Everything I'm about to show you works on an acoustic the same as it works on an electric. It's just, I recorded this on an electric and it's so much fun. It's very funky and it's really fun to play. Again though, all I'm doing is I'm using acoustic style techniques on an electric. I don't consider myself an electric player, although I do play a lot of electric guitar. I'm just using my own country blues knowledge and I just apply it to the electric guitar and that's what we have here. So this stuff that I'm gonna show you in Open G, yes, it's specific to my version of Drop Down Mama, but it's gonna work in Open G no matter what you wanna use it, okay? These are just gonna be principles. It's gonna start off with this riff. 
a G7, seventh fret on that third string, sixth fret on that second string, and then we've got that fifth string for our bass. We're gonna go to the fifth fret on strings two and three, third fret on strings two and three, and on that fifth fret of that fourth string. So that's the first part. From there, I go just fifth, third, fifth. Fifth, open third, fifth. And I do a little bit of a strike there. So I my timing on my right hand is gonna go. That's that opening riff, and I'm gonna use that as my soloing riff, but I'm also gonna sing over the top of that. Drop down, mama, let your daddy see. You got something, put a hold on me where my mama don't allow. Now I'm gonna bar and make my C7 chord by adding that first string up at the eighth fret. Just go from C7 to C major. And I like to go back to the third and then fifth. For an all night long. Back to the riff. Well, I may act like I'm crazy. That's that D chord barred at the seventh fret. Now I'm gonna answer, so I may act like I'm crazy, but I know my right from wrong. So, I'm going eighth fret on that second, sixth fret on that second, sliding from seven to five on that G string, and then I'm doing a pull off, pull off, to the fifth fret on that fourth string. So that G string gets that double pull off. So. And then that leads me right back to the riff. So if I go, Look like I'm crazy, but I know my right That is all there is to this song. I just use that and I repeat it over and over again. Even when I do take a solo when I play this live, it's based off of that form. To me, it works so well. It's just really solid and it's got a great funky groove to it. And I hope you enjoy playing it. If you're struggling with any of the areas, check out the tab and let's play through it together. Allow. A 
Right from wrong, and 